So this is uh, the Pikes Peak Autonomous TTS, nicknamed Shelly. It's a little easier to say. Um, and uh, it's a, it started out as a stock vehicle uh, from Audi, and we we would say we minimized the amount of changes we made to it. You might say, oh my goodness, this is totally different. But really, it, at the end of the day, we added some sensing. But what we do to control the car is we steer and we throttle and we brake, just like you would. Um, the point of this project is to go fast, is to mimic race car drivers and to to learn from race car because what race car drivers, their goal is to go fast. The way they do that is they drive at the limits of handling. You could not go faster if you wanted to. Now, we don't necessarily want to do that for the same reason of racing, but the same idea applies of if you know the physical bounds of what a car can do, you're in an emergency situation, you're, you're going off the road, Use everything you have at your disposal to to make that situation safer. Um, so that's that's the idea. Uh, and this is the one that helps you correct in case you're falling off a cliff. Well, it's going to have to. So we're going to take this up to Pikes Peak Mountain in Colorado. It's a 13-mile mountain course. Uh, it is uh, a famous race course for human drivers. It apparently has been driven autonomously very slowly, but it's never been driven at that kind of racing speed. Uh, so yes, think about a nice car that you might own, where if you're on the highway and you drift out of your lane, it corrects you. Same idea here, the difference is that both are robotic, but we, we have separately a robotic driver and robotic corrections. And we keep them separate so that as we uh, create these algorithms and improve them, you could, in theory, take that correcting part, put it into your car, and be safer. 